Joe, when it's 3 p.m. and my tummy starts to rumble, I often crave that little savoury treat. So today we're making pizza pinwheels, a good Aussie classic bakery item that mm. is going to be packed full of vegetables and meat, rolled in mm. puff pastry, and will be ready to rock and roll. So first, what I want you to do for me is to slice up some mushies and some sure. olives. All right, we're yeah. working on our sort of classic uh, supreme style pizza here. This is going to be so sacrilegious to all the Italians out there. I apologise, guys. <laughs> this is my spin on it. Uh, I can tell you're excited about this, though. I am excited because this is one that really ticks all my boxes, full of flavour, really easy to make and economical too. And yeah. this is great. The next day you could throw them in your kids' lunch boxes and they taste even better cold the next day, I reckon. And I think some kids get bored of the same thing every day. Oh, great, another sandwich. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> But if you put these in their lunch boxes, they'll be surprised and they and they'll be the envy of all their schoolmates. Yeah, a different take on the old ham and cheese sandwich, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. A bit more exciting. So I'm getting some capsicum in. Now, this is great because everything just goes into the one bowl and we've got to just mix it all together before we wrap it in our puff pastry. Do you want all these olives, Tom? Yeah, let's go all of them. Why not? Okay. I've got a red onion that we've just diced nice and small. That can go straight into the bowl. And we've got two types of meat. Supreme pizza, kind of pizza pinwheel style. So we've got an English style ham mm -hmm. and a pepperoni. Got to get some pepperoni in there. So these little packs are great because they're really convenient. You just have them in the fridge, ready to go when you want. Am I popping my mushrooms and olives in here? Yep, everything can go straight into the bowl. Nice. Which is the glorious thing about this recipe. So pepperoni and ham, and I'm just going to chop these up a little bit and they can go in as well. I want you to grate some cheese, because of course, pizza sure. pinwheels, we've got to have lots of cheese. So a good amount of cheese there. Well, that's boosting the protein, boosting the calcium. There you go. So I'm finding the positives on this. <laughs> All right, slice up our ham, bit of a quick dice on that. That can go straight in and our pepperoni. My son is just obsessed with pizza at the moment. Whenever we make pizzas or order in pizzas, he always wants to watch the movie E.T. because at the start of E.T. they eat pizza and it's just ah. this obsession that he's got whenever we eat pizza. He's like, can we watch E.T.? And he just loves it. <laughs> Pavlov's dog, you've, yeah. you've trained him. I know. All right, our pepperoni is diced up. That can go into our bowl. That is a perfect amount. I'm happy that'll with do? that. Yeah, okay. that'll be great. If you want to pop that into oh, the it's bowl going in there as well. Too. Uh -huh. Yep, everything in oh, there. I like a recipe that everything just gets thrown in together. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> now, while I start on our puff pastry, if you even if you want to get in with your mitts or a spoon and just give that a good mix around, I've that would clean be hands fantastic. So I can get in there. Thank you. Puff pastry. I love working with puff pastry. So this has just been thawed out slightly in the fridge. And we want to do three slices of our puff pastry. Un, deux, trois. Peel the plastic off. That's key. <laughs> <laughs> I did once roast a chicken, not realising the plastic, you know, the thing that catches oh, all the juices. Yeah. Oh, no. Roasted the whole chicken oh, and then realised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We've got some just store-bought passata or a thick pasta sauce. Mm -hmm. And all I want to do, like you're making a pizza, you just get a good spoonful of that onto our puff pastry sheets. Amazing. You could just use tin tomatoes if you want or a, any passata. We're not fussy. And then just give that a good spread like we're making a square pizza at the moment. And then with our beautiful pizza scatters? mix, what I want you to do is just to make a one row at the top of each piece of pastry, a good amount on there. Okay. We're going to roll these up, chop them into eight equal pieces for each pastry, mm -hmm. pop them on a tray with some glad bake into the oven, 220 degrees, about 15 minutes until they're golden and puffy and delicious. look like a pizza, but they smell like a pizza. <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> Let's see if they taste like a pizza. I mean, they're a bit of fun, crispy little snack, and that's what mm. today is all about. Yeah, so I was thinking this seems like party food. Yeah. All right, so we'll get a good 
pile of our pizza pinwheels on here. Got to try one. Come on. Let's do it. Come on, I'm in. <laughs> Nice Curiosity and crispy. Is me. Does, it really, <laughs> does it really taste like a pizza? <laughs> Careful, Thank it'll you. be hot. Thank you. Does smell like a pizza. <laughs> oh, hot, hot. Mm. Crispy pastry. You get those pizza vibes from all those classic ingredients. It does taste like a pizza. <laughs> it's a bakery classic, a little snack. It is a little snack. Mm. Party food. Party food. <laughs>